Here's an example of using statistical process control to show a process improvement. So let's start with our automotive industry action group data here. This is the C chart and we have bolt defects. Now when you're not measuring a denominator, a, a subgroup size, then we're just going to count the number of defective bolts we find. That leads us into a C chart. So just select our data with the mouse and you could click on the QI Macros control chart wizard or on control charts and choose C chart. It'll prompt us for titles. And here you can see that there was kind of wildly out of out of control here and then what looks like out of control down here. But really what this shows is a process shift. And it looks like we made a change right here. And so let's just click on that point. I'm going to choose the QI Macros chart menu, show process change. And that'll change our uh, flow. And then we can rerun stability analysis on here. And so now you can see that before our change, we, our process was stable, and after our change, the process was stable. So what we might like to do now is come back and show uh, what happened. And so all I did here was count the total uh, bolt defects before, so I just uh, summed that port part right there. And then here, I just selected the others that were after. And so that's our data. And I'm just going to select the titles, hold down the control key, and select the other two uh, columns. And then choose QI Macro's Pareto chart. And this will allow us to compare the two Pareto's. And here you can see that originally uh, VR9017 was, a, was the big dog. And VR9017 is now the middle uh, contributor here. V721, VR721 is went from second to last, and now 1901 and 1942, these two have arisen uh, in terms of being the lead things that need fixing. VS9017 uh, is still an issue, uh, but we, you know, we've dropped it down from 40 down to 14, so that's more than a 50% reduction. So now we'd probably want to have a team go to work on VR1901 here. And again, we could just stick in a fishbone diagram, move or copy that into our sheet here, down toward the back. And we could have people start to work on those other uh, top three items here. All right, so we'd have one team work on the first bar, and another team work on the second bar, and another team work on the third bar. And that's how easy it is to use statistical process control to show our before and our after, and to show that we actually did make a process improvement. So we went from over 10 bolts defects down to less than, than 5 bolt defects, and that we actually have significantly moved these things on our Pareto charts, but we still have some significant things to work on. Now again, this is kind of a per flato chart here, but let's just start working on each one of these, and we can eventually eliminate all of those defects using statistical process controls, some Pareto charts, and the QI macros.